Now, I said the most important thing in a painting is the thought uh, or the idea. Now, this is exactly the opposite to these ones where there's a whole landscape and all that kind of thing. This is only the animal. And the animal fills and more than fills the whole thing. It's just kind of the interesting, the business end of a polar bear. I'm after the air in the hair. I'm not after every hair by any means. So I start out very soft on the right hand side, sort of and it sort of slams you. The only black in the whole picture, and it's still not black because I don't use 100% black. I was very conscious of the muscles and the bones and the anatomy underneath the hair that reflects on the way the hair breaks, the way the clumps break. Every single inch, square inch, uh, even millimeter in nature is unique and special. So as you move across the polar bear, it's like moving across a landscape. And every inch of that fur is unique for various reasons to do with the underlying bone structure and muscle structure, and I guess maybe function of the fur. So it starts out in the armpit being very loose and soft and fluffy almost, and going up to the shoulder where it's, it's, it's much harder and more, um, more finely textured, and then the sort of shag looseness. If, if you ever have, a, have had a dog that has long fur and you tickle them under the neck, I hope you could kind of feel that you could reach up if this polar bear would let you and <laughs> tickle it under the neck and feel into the fur that way. And then you move up to the sideburns. It's different. The ear is totally different. The top of the head, completely different. And then the face is all divided into different little panels, each of which is covered with hair, but the hair is different length and reflects a different texture. And the metaphor I was thinking about while I was working on it was... Um, a cannon and the killing part is the nose and the mouth. The eyes are less important and the ears I don't think are very important at all to polar bears but the nose is of course and the mouth uh, does a lot of the killing as well and the nose doing the detecting.